welcome to the first ever JMC Let's Play! <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm a little out there. And this is going to be a single shot serving. This is something I'm not going to do like full series on. So, as you can see, I actually this is like a tag team effort between my son and I on Family Guy Back to the Multiverse. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can clearly tell it's me playing because I'm like all sorts of exploring and whatnot. But anyway, so <laughs> I love the Jack Daniels bottle for Brian. It's just awesome. And the sniper rifle. Brian has quickly become my favorite character to use in this. So basically the story behind how I got this game was Zaven had traded in a bunch of his Nintendo Wii and GameCube stuff, and he happened to find this particular game. Well, the way I figure it is, considering that he's gotten into GTA, which kind of scares the crap out of me, I figured if he was going to play a shooter game, I was at least going to get something that had animation, and that he knew was not real. That never could happen. So, back to the multiverse just happened to fit. And he and I actually started in on co-op. Right about the time that we started recording was when he jumped out. But, it's just, it's awesome, this game. I, I mean, seriously, the headshots alone are awesome as hell. Done right, I and I actually found that uh, I found this out during the gameplay. Is depending on how close you are to the bad guys when you're doing the sniping, you can actually get a little bit more out of it. Like here, you can do headshots for forty dollar make you hotter. But if you can get them close enough, where their whole face is in your in your scope there, you can actually get $60. Which, trust me, that money ends up adding up real quick when you're trying to unlock stuff on this game. And, as you can tell, I've done a bit of upgrading on Brian anyway with his health and ammo and what. Actually, I don't think I upgraded his ammo yet. No? No, no. I, According to this gameplay, I hadn't even touched that yet. At least I don't think it. Nope. Full ammo, so... I hadn't actually done the upgrades yet. I think I do that in this video, though. So, yeah. Clearly, these traps are not hidden very well. Gotta avoid those. And... Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, I, I should probably explain the premise of this level first, by the way. This is... According to the multiverse, this world is what would happen if technology never occurred. Like, this is Amish world. And some of the remarks that these guys... I mean, I thought I had heard everything that the writers of this show could come up with. Yeah, I was way... That's no cracks me up. Jack Daniels mom. I don't know what it is. It's just something about Brian having the whiskey bottle. It's just awesome as hell. Now let's... Oh, now, now here's another cool effect. It fades out into a different color when you're about ready to die. And you'll notice you'll still have that tint. Uh, you'll, it'll go away after a while. But that's like your basic... Whoa! Whoa! Hello! So, oh, new objective. Locate the Amish Metal Supply. Okay, let's see what we got here. Stage dive! <laughs> yeah, I have a little too much fun with this. Give me a break. Oh, yeah, I did upgrade them. That's right. The, uh, the Molotov Cocktails. That was actually Zaven's request, was to upgrade the cocktails. The grenades are like... You start out with two. 
and you go higher up depending on what all you decide to unlock. I uh, yes, see there, there, there you go. There's a sixty. So <laughs> now this, this I just had to record marijuana, Amish marijuana. Now who could have thought? <laughs> that in the a world filled with Amish people, that this would even be possible. I'm pretty sure my brother is going to enjoy these plants. <laughs> yeah, that that was just. <laughs> yeah. By the way, my brother really doesn't do that. Oh, oh, oh. Blasted trap got me in the leg. Well, at least he wasn't a gummy, so he didn't have to chom a nom 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 his own leg off. Which, now that I think of Ah! Ah! I shot Ah! Ah! Gotta do a headshot! Boom! <coughs> ah! Ooh, I think I got him in the crotch on that one. Hmm. So, yeah, this is just me goofing around at this point. Because like, you never know what exactly is going to come out of the cornfield, especially with the children of the corn being like that. Amish cycles. Now, now, now keep in mind, this this is a setup. I've already put, I've already cleared the other side. But this, is, I'm basically scoping out, because I know I'm going to have to come back here. So... Yeah, that's it's one of those things. And I'm an explorer by nature. I Metroid really doesn't do anything for me for the exploration, but games like this and Sonic Adventure just something that the opportunity to explore but it's not mandatory to explore. It's just incredible to me. Oh, Lord. I still can't believe I lost the last one of these guys. By all rights, I should have had the last Amish in a barrel. Boom, boom. Stupid ammo reload. Boom. Oh, no, 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 no. He ain't gonna kill me, is your house? Boom. Boom, boom, ah, B boom, headshot. See, I even got the achievement for that. <laughs> it's just awesome. <laughs> boom, headshot. <laughs> oh, you gotta love those cultural references in there. Do, do, do. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I was gonna see what the achievement was, but I kind of figured that one already. Door portal. Okay, now here is basically how you upgrade your stuff. You invest your money. And you can already tell I've been doing some pretty good investments here. I don't usually do the costumes until after I max out my stats that's it. it's just the way that I've always played games oh you can see where I was going with the transition there man I was really hoping for another barrel shooter now this oh god it's ended up being a pain in the ass as you can probably tell the objective yeah, it, it shows you the objective. But I didn't really get how it worked at first. So I'm sitting here like trying to shoot the damn barrels. That wasn't working. Boom! Headshot! And I just love shooting those lanterns out. It's just too bad they're not green. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. I do have Injustice Gods Among Us. And I will be doing a Let's Play of that. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the story mode or a few different matches. I haven't quite decided on that one yet. We'll see how things go with the Let's Plays channels. So, oh, you know, I've noticed there's a lot more redhead and Amish in this game. I'm kind of getting worried. Just a little, though. Reload! Do, 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 do. Ah, you stud of a... You purple bastard! Why did you jump? <laughs> Turning crit. Now, again, I did not realize at the time. It's like, hold X to J. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Ow! Ow! Dude! Are you trying to pick my nose? Seriously, back off! You don't need to be digging for gold in my nasal cavities, you son of a bitch. Do, do, do. Yeah, and Brian's not even, he's not even smiling in this whole thing. He's like, oh, now if I can find a midget with some gin, I'll be in business. And that's a common quote they have. In the, this is one of the few things I'm actually disappointed with in this game. They actually take a lot of old style Family Guy quotes. They don't really come up with anything new for that. I mean, there's there's commentary between Brian and Stewie during the stage itself, but there's a lot of the cameos are basically lines ripped from other episodes. So it's kind of like that's a little bit of a cop out. If you're gonna do that, at least do it from episodes like Stewie Griffin, The Untold Story. Boom! Headshot! <laughs> I do that a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing. I was, I was hunting around for all the little pickups and. Maybe! It's a crane. <laughs> Sorry. My head earphones are doing this weird echo thing right now. So it kind of reminded me of the whole uh, Pink Floyd song. Money. It's a crane. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what you're going to get with the Let's Plays that I do, people. It's, it's, it's equal parts commentary on the game. ADD and what the fuck? <laughs> Boo! Oh, that was a double headshot. Now get get back it. There you go. Hey, wait a minute! You son of a bitch! <coughs> run, run, run! Oh, you had to fall. Well, at least that ended up being a beneficial. I mean, he got more money. Ah, shit. That's where my missing poster was. I completely forgot to get that. At least I think I did. And uh, I should point that out. In each of these stages, you have secondary goals, which obviously once I flood the quarry, I can't get that one again. But there are certain goals that you have to complete in each of these stages in order to open up new characters or weapons or stuff to use in the multiplayer which I have not gotten to do yet with Munchkin I can't wait to see what the, those what is available on that boom boom okay that was just yeah Brian you're limping we get it you got a stiff third leg <laughs> yeah don't ask uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Now we can go get that money. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm going to be on that for the rest of the, this video. <laughs> there you go, trying to pick your ass again, Cod. Y'all know better than that. Ooh, how did I get a 120 out of that? That's one hell of a bonus. I'm going to have to review that and see how it did it later. Boom! Oh, come on.
Come on. Yeah, got that one. You don't fight until you see no eyes of that eyes. And now we go. <laughs> Yay, flood. And we're not talking the halo flood. <laughs> Objective complete. Hey, chicken guts! Can't, would you stop moving? Why did the chicken go back and forth across the quarry? Because Brown is going to shoot its ass out! Yeah, that's another uh, secondary goal. I can never find the other three chickens, though. On the other hand, at least you don't have to choke the chicken to kill them. Maybe I shouldn't be making it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> now I'm getting... This is a, did I just see an arrow in his head? Ow! Dude, could you at least calm down on the shooting? Some of us would like to live. Now, damn it, I told you, I mean, you need to aim with your scope. Well, that sucked. Yes, in just about any other game like this, they end up taking your money if you die. So you get robbed for natural cause of death. Now, uh, let's see what else we got here. <laughs> now, here's where I made a mistake. For some reason, I thought I could do a double jump. I'm doing this on behalf of the sex that I never... Okay. What? I got flushed? I don't even want to know. I, I seriously don't want to know what the... F what, what was that supposed to be? Like, this game's take on the great mighty poo? Get granted, Zayvon's not gotten to that point of Conker's Bad Fur Day yet, but good God! Hey, that, I'm gonna flush down this dog like a turd! Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. And of course, you gotta collect my money. Where's my money, bro? I want my money. You got till five o'clock, man. <laughs> Seriously, I'm surprised that quote hasn't made it in here yet. Ah. Oh. Paul took a pet. So that's what it is. I just now noticed the power up that you have infinite of in that spot, at least for Brian. I, that suddenly makes a lot of sense. Let's see. I want to say that I at least recorded all the way through the boss level, which surprisingly ended up being a little easier than I thought. I mean, after the annihilation that I got, that Zayvon and I got through the first boss, we actually had to co-op on that one. That was how bad of a pain in the ass it was. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they talk about meds doing something with a cornhole. I, it, I'm not 100% sure on that. And remember when I was scoping out the stage early? That's why. Explosives heading your way. It's it's kind of like oh, what, I'm trying to remember what game this was from. 
You are not. Shut up. Oh, death by crotch shot. That's gotta suck. Money make. And of course, I had another like split second moment here. Loading up on my ammo. <laughs> yeah. It's, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I'm going behind the horses to get my money. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm having a little too much fun here. Ye of Dumper. I don't even want to know. Oh lord, it's a giant bear trap on this robot! This is not even close to right. Now, of course, and, and again, this boss actually ended up being somewhat easy. At least compared to the first boss. The first boss was just a pain in the ass. It's like, <laughs> I'm gonna throw beer! And then I'm gonna refill using beer! God, it took Zayvon and I at least a good half hour to figure out how to beat the hell out of that boss. If you've never played the game, I may end up doing a replay through of the first one, depending on how this one gets busy. Just to show you guys what I'm talking about. And... Da -da 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 -da. Come on. We're almost done with the video. Come on. Now, let's see. He's going to light me on fire, I think. Well, close to it. And ammo, I think ammo. No, yep. I think I. There we go. Ding, ding. Yeah. Put. The, wait a minute. The sun. Sorry, my microphone just fell. The sun had sunglasses. Are you fucking kidding me? How did I not notice that during the playthrough? See, this is why I love doing Let's Plays. You could go through this gameplay, uh, playing it, focusing on the gameplay, but when you take a step back, you notice all these little glitches and whatnot. Alright, well anyway, this is just like a little demo of what to expect from the JMC Let's Plays. Single shots will be like one or maybe two videos of a particular game. I'm going to be doing a series on Mass Effect shortly, so please check that out. Like this video, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, I do all the good little advertisement and social media stuff, and I will see you on the next JMC Let's Play! I really got to come up with a theme song for that. That's yeah, it's just... Oh, wait, I'm still recording.